Well, what can I say guys, an allotment on a Sunday sunny morning with the church bells going. It's so lovely. Um, I need to do some bits here. I, popped, I was up here yesterday and filmed it. I need to do some bits today. I just look at everybody else's and theirs is so lovely. So, but we'll get there. We will get there. Well, I hope we can get there. The weeds have taken over everything. <laughs> Okay, so I had a little bit more cardboard I brought down. I'm hoping that'll stay put. And then I've used the rest of this sheeting. Oh, I need to find something else to put it on. Um, I'm kind of just, we've got no bricks, nothing down here to just weigh this down. But what my neighbour did, the allotment neighbour, he cut his grass underneath it really, really short, pulled this really tight and hacked and tacked it into the ground, like great big tacks and uses it as the path, he doesn't even put anything on it, so I think that might be the next move we make on this. Uh, but like I said, we've got to get this grass and weeds down as soon as possible, it's just taken over. Okay, so I had a little bit more cardboard I brought down, I'm hoping that'll stay put, and then I've used the rest of this sheeting. Oh, I need to find something else to put it on. Um, I'm kind of just... We've got no bricks, nothing down here to just weigh this down. But what my neighbour did, the allotment neighbour, he cut his grass underneath it really, really short, pulled this really tight and hacked and tacked it into the ground, like great big tacks, and uses it as the path. He doesn't even put anything on it. So I think that might be the next move we make on this. Uh, but like I said, we've got to get this grass and weeds down as soon as possible. It's just taken over. So, I don't know where to put the seeds now, carrots, anyway, I'm going to be growing carrots. Last lot of um, long-rooted vegetable I tried sowing in toilet roll inserts. Uh, it all, I lift it up, it all fell out the bottom. So then I've just started folding the bottom over and I'm still thinking, a bit of a gap. So, I've been cutting them, so I decided to cut them. Once that's all full of soil and sitting upright, that will sit flat. Brilliant. Carrot seed planting. Now, the last long, I can't remember what it was, I tried to plant, I think it might have been spring onions, I can't remember, using toilet roll inserts. I just put them like that in a tray fill them all with soil, cut the seeds in, lifted them up when I wanted to plant them out, all fell out. So then I thought, right, let's just crush the ends. Then I can put the soil in and it won't all fall out. But so that one's not too bad actually, but like this one, I was just like, oh, it's a bit of a mess, there's still a hole. So then I decided to cut the bottoms and tuck them over. Like a little whirly gig. There you go, so once the soil's in there and watered in, the seeds should stay in there lovely. Now I've got a couple of varieties, so I think what I'm going to do is start with the harlequin in these. And then because they can be planted straight into the allotment bed in a, in a month or so, once I'm not happy they've taken, I will... Um, yeah, so I'll leave them in that, but these ones, the Nantes, I've seen other allotment or gardeners online and whatnot, and their Nantes always seem to do well planted straight out, so I'm going to keep these and plant them straight out in a couple of months. It says uh, uh, so March to July, so I think I'll do sort of end of June time, we'll see. We'll see. There are 5,000 seeds in the, in the uh, harlequin pack. <laughs> They're tiny. So I live in hope. I'm going to do a few in each um, in each of the uh, toilet roll inserts. Water them in and see how they do. Carrot seed planting. Now, last long, I can't remember what it was, I tried to plant, I think it might have been spring onions, I can't remember, using toilet roll inserts. I just put them like that in a tray, fill them all with soil, cut the seeds in, 
I've lifted them up when I wanted to plant them out. And they fell out. So then I thought, right, let's just crush the ends. Then I can put the soil in. And it won't all fall out. But it's all right. that one's not too bad actually. But like this one, I was just like, oh, it's a bit of a mess. There's still a hole. So then I decided to cut the bottoms and tuck them over. Cut a little whirly gig. There you go, so once the soil's in there and watered in, the seeds should stay in there lovely. Friday morning, it's now Sunday morning. I'm coming through. Oh, I hope that means I'm going to have a bump of proper coriander. Gorgeous herb. Anyway, my carrots are in. Wish me luck. Right, guys, that's them in. In a small amount of soil. Oh, what are you doing in there, Aunt? Go away. Small amount of soil sprinkled on top, watered in well, as it was all dry. Um, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to leave them out today during the day. I don't know where these ants are coming from. Go away. And, um, yeah. But look at this. Now this is spectacular. I only put these coriander seeds. If you've watched, watched one of my earlier ones, like two or three days ago, I homegrown coriander seeds, soaked them in water, put them in a paper towel, put them in a little plastic bag, Put them somewhere warm for a few days when they started sprouting put them in the soil and this was two mornings ago i put them in the soil and look at that they are just amazing i'm so impressed with them so i'm hoping for a really bumper crop of coriander because it is my favorite herb and i'm really rooting for my little carrots <laughs> right hello lovelies this is the slugless i've started using I uh, got it from Amazon, it will be linked. Uh, there's my other netted grow tunnel, don't need that yet because I'm not ready to bring up my brassicas. I've removed the other net tunnel. I'm keeping Pete busy today because he's got away with it for days now. <laughs> um, this is where I lost my first cauliflower, so as you can see, I just throwing down a load of slug pellets and I will uh, before the end of the week come up and weed it 